The last thing that you remember is standing before the wizard Lakmir as he waved his hands. Now you find yourself staring at an entryway which lies at the edge of a forest. The druid's words ring in your ears. Within the castle's shadow gate lies your quest. The dreaded warlock lord will use his black magic to raise the behemoth from the dark depths. The combination of his evil arts and the great titan's power will surely destroy us all. You are the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy that was foretold eons ago. Only you can stop the evil one from darkening our world forever. Fare thee well. Gritting your teeth, you swear by God's name. Oh, that's not a good idea. That's, that's pretty serious. You don't, you don't swear by God's name unless you really, really mean it. That you will destroy the Warlock Lord. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Volk. Welcome to Shadowgate. Now, this is a pretty unorthodox adventure that we're having here. It's point and click. Um, not something we usually do on this channel, but... Charlie Cat thought that it would be pretty interesting to see, so I thought I'd give it a try anyway. Uh, whether or not it becomes a series needs to be determined. But let's see how it works so we can look around. It's a heavy wooden door with iron hinges. Uh, we have a whole menu here of actions that we can perform, and uh, right now I just want to look at some stuff. It's the skull of some creature. Its meaning seems quite clear. Death lurks inside. It's pretty interesting. Maybe we need to look around at everything just to make sure we can get all the text. It's a stone wall. Wonder what this says. You seem to be wasting your time. <laughs> yeah, the game the game is kind of sassy at times. So I've already played a little bit of this and got lost uh, and had to stop. But I think I, but you know, I wanted to try to give it another chance. First of all, we want to go ahead and open the door, if that's even possible. The door is open. I would have expected the entrance to a castle to be locked, but you can just open it up. It's the door leading into the castle's shadow gate. What a what a cool name for a castle, Shadowgate. I want to name my castle Shadowgate. So we can move ourselves by clicking on the door or clicking this menu right here. And it will lead into a room. Whoa, look at those eyes. That pitiful wizard Lakmir was a fool to send up a fool like you to stop me. You will surely regret it. For the only thing you hear for you is a horrible death. The sound of maniacal laughter echoes in your ears. <laughs> so now we're here in this room, and this is as far as I've gotten in the game. We can look around. This wooden door is reinforced with heavy sheets of steel. And also, there's another door to our right. Even though this door is only an inch thick, it is very sturdy. And so, let's see. We can also look at the uh, rug. It's a beautifully woven rug. So, you know, we can oh, try to open these doors. Let's try to open the door. The door is locked. And what about this door? It's also locked. And I don't... I, I don't know if there's a key anywhere. And this is where I got completely lost. I had no idea what to do. So, of course, I did what any sane person would do. That's right, I read the manual, and apparently you can, uh... Apparently you can check for hints. Don't quit now. Very useful hint. Thank you. That, that was such a useful hint. I... Did you know? That was like the most useful hint that has ever been said in my life. It's a torch. 
an oil soaked rag is wrapped around it. I guess that's another torch. Nothing. 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 So I just kind of have to look around and hope that I find something. And speak, I can use spells, but there's. It really doesn't make any sense. We don't have any goods. Oh! I also mentioned, I forgot to mention, there's apparently a time limit in this game. You see this torch up here? If that light goes out, it's game over. So we, we don't have time to... We don't have time to dilly-dally. Can we use the torch? What do you want to use this on? Maybe I can burn the door. No! Wait a minute! It's best if you don't do that. What if I do this? Huh! I didn't actually know I could do that. Maybe I could burn the wooden woven rug? The rug quickly catches on fire and burns away. So now we can look here. So, did I just burn that rug for absolutely no reason? I think so! Yeah, I just burned the rug for no reason. That's a shame. Well, okay, I can't burn the doors. So, let's try burning the torches? Okay, so it's it's best if I don't burn the door, but... I'm, I'm perfectly fine to burn the rug if I want to. Hmm. What else can I find? Oh! Maybe I can take the torch. That's what I got in. So I, I'll take both of these torches. And now, now let me look around. Can I open this door now? Nope, they're still locked. So let's use one of these torches. The torch is lit. And then we use it to burn... So now we have two torches. Oh! So now that that gives us extra time. I still have no idea where we're going. What to do. Oh! Oh, silly me. I could burn the bushes, maybe. Maybe I could burn the bushes. Okay, so I can't burn the bushes, apparently. What else can we do? Can we... hit? I am still just as lost as I was on my first recording session. But this is... You stood in a long corridor. Huge stone archways line the entire hall. I've never been good at uh, RPG-style things. Th this this kind of seems like a a point and click kind of seems like a D and D kind of thing. What if we hit the door? Nothing happened. And hitting the door over and over doesn't do anything. Can we look to see where where the torches used to be? No. Wow, I really am lost. I might just have to use a walkthrough on this. And it won't let me burn the door, unfortunately.
Do I have a card? Do I have any cards? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Can I speak to the door? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna try everything. What you expected hasn't happened. <laughs> I love how... I love the cheekiness of the game's narrator. It's, it's pretty funny. Some of the lines it says, What you expected hasn't happened. You seem to be wasting your time. <gasps> oh, well watch what happens if you try to speak to yourself. What odd behavior for such a brave warrior. <laughs> it's great. I still can't open the door. Hmm. Can you close a closed door? The door is closed. The door is closed. Well, what about this? The door is locked. Well, gosh, diddly doodle dang it. What, what do you want me to do? Uh-oh, the torch is going out. All right, hold on. You're kidding me. You're kidding. Oh, the, it's the entrance to Shadowgate. You can hear the wolves howling deep in the forest behind you. Guess what apparently you have to do? You have to speak to the skull. Okay, not speak to the skull. You have to use the skull? You have to do something to the skull. Maybe you gotta use the... Wait. Burn the skull? What do you want me to do? Um, open the skull? Yeah, you have to open the skull. As if by magic the skull rises. And then you can take the key from there. Which is so dumb. So that's what I had to do this whole time? How's anyone supposed to know to do that? Well, I guess most people do know. I feel like AVGN right now. Okay, so which door should we go in? The side door or this front door? Let's use the key. Click. The key worked and unlocked the door. So now I can actually do something. Let's move forward in Shadowgate. The stone walls seem uncomfortably close as you walk down the stairs. Let's look around. What's this? It's a small candle, perfect for reading. It's an ancient tome. It seems no one has disturbed its pages for centuries. Can I take the ancient tome? Oh. What? What? When you remove the book from its pedestal, the floor collapses and you fall to your death? And there's death. It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. It is a shame that our adventures have ended here. Will we continue them? Find out next time on Dr. Volk.